Hi, this is uh, chapter 5, um, Hardware Interfacing. Uh, by the end of this uh, uh, topic or chapter, we will cover uh, config basic configuration circuit and uh, input components, uh, switches and keyboard. And we also look into the output components. Uh, this will be covered in uh, chapter 5a. Configuration circuit. Okay, basic configuration circuit. What it means by basic configuration circuit is uh, the minimum um, circuit that is required to run the PIC microcontroller. Right. So the basic hardware requirement uh, for the circuit, you have to have power source or VDD, and then you need to have a ground reference or VSS. Okay. Or, or so usually sometimes you call it GND. Right, and then we have um, oscillator circuit, uh, OSC one, OSC two. Oh, okay. OSC one and, and OSC two is basically the pin, okay, which is this one. Okay, this pin you have to get it connected to uh, crystal, All right? And then from the crystal we have a capacitor, and then uh, it goes to ground. All right, and then we have a reset circuit, M clear. Okay, M clear, which is this one, you have to connect to reset circuit. So uh, these are the four things you have to have at least, right, to run the microcontroller. Besides these four, the rest of it, uh, like uh, if you want to connect to LED, if you want to connect to sensor, uh, or whatever the input and output that you need is um, extra. Uh, it's basically uh, depends on your application but to run the microcontroller even without doing anything without doing any tasks you need to have all these four yeah right this is how we make the circuit connection right if you look here we have reset circuit and then we have power supply uh, let me put this number one here and then ground number two and then uh, we have uh, oscillator circuit number three and number four reset circuit so this is how we make the connection uh, as i uh, have drawn for you just now uh, the oscillator circuit it has uh, a connection to osc1 and then osc2 okay to the crystal for uh, for this uh, for this example we use four megahertz crystal but uh, you can have uh, 4 megahertz, 8 megahertz, 16 megahertz, and so on, right? Uh, and then we have a coupling capacitor which goes to the ground. And then <coughs> for the reset circuit, we have um, pull up resistor of 10k, and then we have a switch to the ground, and then there is a connection to M clear. So this 100 uh, ohm resistor is just to limit the current. Uh, by right, the current is uh, really small, so there's no nothing to worry about. Uh, uh, when you press the, uh, the switch, meaning the M clear pin will become logic zero here. We, if you don't press, M clear pin will become logic high, meaning when it's logic high, it's it is actually uh, allow the system to run. When uh, it becomes zero, then the circuit resets, meaning restart from the very beginning. Next is the configuration circuit uh, voltage supply. Uh, voltage supply, if you seen have seen before, we just write here five volt in the ground. And you may also have a capacitor for uh, uh, to stabilize the circuit to avoid any ripple or any um, external noise that could come in. And then we have um, what is the source of the five volt? You can choose either you want to have a voltage regulation regulation uh, regulator circuit. You could also have um, uh, an adapter which are uh, giving given an output of um, suitable for your VCC 
in which in this case your VCC is 5 volts and you may also use um, external uh, uh, circuits such as um, DC to DC converter or sometimes sometimes we call it bulk converter uh, as long as we have an output that, uh, of a 5 volt right? regulated 5 volt output so like this if you have a voltage regulator system uh, where your input is incoming and you use this like uh, 7805 and then you have a capacitor coupling here all right so the input output here is 5 volts and the input according based on the the test sheet of the uh, 7805 your input should have should be at least um, 8 volts or 7 or 8 volts i would say 7 volt minimum because uh, uh, it needs there is a voltage drop uh, throughout the regulator and uh, in order to produce a 5 volt output right next is the uh, reset circuit reset circuitry uh, there are several ways of doing it uh, if you have seen you have seen previously you have a pull up resistor of 10k and then you have a 100 ohm uh, limiting current limiting resistor for safety uh, actually if you even if you don't have this you still can have it working so there's no issues right there and then you can also have uh, something like this which is uh 3.3 volts uh goes to 10k uh, pull up resistor and then you have a capacitor there uh, to isolate the incoming and then you have uh, some smaller resistance 680 ohms uh just just to um uh, get a uh, ground connection and uh, the signal depends on the DTR okay those uh, are going to reset besides that what is DTR is um, normally we use in uh, communication uh, you can search what the DTR means I, I can't recall what was it and then next is the uh, another sample still using a 10 kilo ohm resistor a switch and you have a coupling capacitor in in parallel to the switch right uh, this is uh, the switch uh, the coupling capacitor is to avoid bouncing effect whereby you can have something like this usually from you when you press the button it becomes uh, from high to low right if if without the debounce or without the capacitor coupling capacitor it will be something like this right so it will go up and down until it's stabilized and then uh, we are done with the basic components now you can as i mentioned previously you can also have uh, as uh, uh, output components and also input components uh, the most basic like uh, basic output components you have is the led or light emitting diode it's very common uh, as an output device to test your algorithm whether they are uh, written correctly or, or you need some changes to the algorithm. The connection of an LED with the input output port must be accompanied by a resistor uh, just to limit the, the, the current that uh, is going in or going out of the microcontroller. The, the resistor functions as a current emitter. Okay? And then the value of the resistor depends on the specification of the IO port and its uh, supply voltage. So if you have a 5 volt uh, supply uh, and a 5 volt uh, PIC 16584 is a 5 volt uh, 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 operating voltage, and uh, you can have a resistor uh, of uh, a value of uh, between. 250 to 470 ohms uh, to connect to LED but um, the lower the number the, the value of the resistor the, the, the brighter the LED but um, bear in mind you cannot exceed the the, the current minimum uh, current that it uh, required to operate sorry maximum current that it required to operate for, the, for each of the pins LED can be connected to microcontroller in two ways uh, switch on with logic zero or switch on with logic high right 
Yeah, this is an example how to uh, write a program to turn on and off uh, an LED. Okay, in C language, you can use uh, like this, trace B equals to 0 times 0, 0, and then port B equals to 0 times 0, 1. Trace B, as you know, is uh, to set as an output. And then uh, port B here is to set B, port B 0 equals to 1. 1, uh, in this case, uh, if you have this kind of circuit configuration, when you send 1, meaning it will turn on the LED. In the assembly language, you have to uh, uh, establish the TRISB and then uh, move LW00, move the TRISB just to set as an output. And then you move uh, to bank 0 and then uh, send 0 times 0, 1 to port B. Okay but b0 equals to 1 or you can also use this way of uh, programming branch select trace b bit carry clear flag trace b which means you send a 0 to trace uh, trace b and then bank select uh, bit set flag port b0 so this is a shorter program code um, so in order to do a shorter program code or, or should i say smart program you have to know uh, which uh, instruction set that you need to use. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and leave a comment in the section below.